So, you know, I never liked this Austin kid. I think that his general attitude, he just runs around like a little punk, okay? And he looks like he's 19, and he's doing ass clown type shit in Colombia. And so, you know, I was disappointed to see him come on Alex's Playing With Fire podcast. What's up guys, John Anthony here from John Anthony Lifestyle. Today I want to talk about Austin Summers, okay, the, everyone's favorite 19 year old looking pick up artist dating coach okay, from Toronto. So before we get into that, please subscribe below if you have not already, press the notification bell for notifications every single day. And if you would like to get very, very good at the game in a short eight weeks, okay, lots of times quicker in two to three weeks to an advanced level, jump on a free 30 minute call with me, link in the description, and I'll walk you through how I can get you very good very fast. Okay, so Austin Summers was part of a duo known as Honest Signals, okay, with the dude Vadim. Okay, we'll have a separate video about him. And he used to have this like uh, video like repping his skills, which was just to, like this song about like dancing. And you just saw him like dancing with a bunch of girls. No fucking pulls, not even one pull. Okay. Whereas like my promotional video, it's just like pull, 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 pull. I've had over 100 uh, infield pulls on camera by 2014 which was seven years ago. I never liked this Austin Summers kid. Lots of guys around the community told me that he, that he like fucking is just like a little punk, okay? He just, like if guys won't sign up for his shit, he just like berates them. Like he just like thinks he's like the coolest kid or whatever. And he's always like trying to, trying to act like the cool guy. And so I'm gonna go through how he fucking disgraced the community and blew up Medellin, Colombia with his bullshit immersion program. We're gonna go through what a fucking ass clown he was in that whole ordeal. Okay, so we're gonna, we'll show screenshots. This is from the Bogota Post. Bogota is another city in Colombia. Medellin Dating Academy draws ire from feminist sphere. Okay, this is like what Bradicus did in Mexico. We'll make a separate video on that. And fucking RST Julian getting banned from Australia and multiple continents. These guys all give a bad name to pick up. I just did a, um, an interview with a reporter in Australia and She's, you know, she's harping on all these things that the people see in the mainstream of just a bunch of fucking retards taking this shit too far and just being ass clowns and making the industry look bad, okay? Not to mention this kid looks like he's about 19 years old. A little fucking punk. So it says, in the last two decades, the city of Eternal Spring has struggled to change its international image from the most violent city in the world to the most innovative thanks to its commitment to social inclusion and economic development. But a subtle aspect has remained in the mindset of the Paisa people. The key elements of the narco mindset, like easy money, strong gender stereotypes, and sexual exploitation of women still influence lifestyle and culture in the city. These are aspects that are reproduced internationally through reggaeton music and TV series that fix it on them, but don't conduct a profound analysis of what they actually mean and their impact on society. This begs the question about the actual reason behind the increase of tourism in the city. Is it innovative change or the remnants of its narco culture? In the last couple of days, a hint to answer this question has gone viral. Austin Summers, okay, fucking based out of Toronto. I won't, I won't say his real name, and I, I know his real name, so I don't put a privacy strike. And for the record, fucking Myron Gaines tried to put a privacy strike on the Myron video. Andrew Miak tried to put a privacy strike on the fucking bikini footage. Okay, these guys are just trying to fucking censor their image as they run around and act like ass clowns and are exposed for it. So I won't say his dumb last name, okay? Has, so Austin Summers, who has proclaimed himself as a dating coach, and they put it in quotes too, rightfully so, has been at the center of controversy for promoting a program called Medellin Immersion, a boot camp that involved more than 70 hours of live training sessions and infield work, where he teaches his students, most of them coming from abroad, different techniques to pick up women in the city. On his webpage, he states that there's a, pers a person in charge of recording hidden camera footage of every field trip. Much of this footage ends up being published in the social media of Austin Summers, without the consent of the women in it. Involves Summers and his crew indicating that they were expelled from EFIT university, presumably because of sexual harassment accusations. The so-called academy has been publicly rejected and has generated much outrage in social media, boosted by the denouncement of local feminist organizations like Bolivar and Felda and Wiki Grillis, who received anonymous information reported that the way summer students were approaching women was in fact sexual harassment. Okay, so this is when you, you have just like a little 19-year-old punk, okay, running around acting like the man, 
okay, and, and this, this too cool for school dating coach and just fucking bothering the shit out of women. Here, here's some examples of this. One woman reported that she was allegedly approached by Summers and one of his students who started following her in the middle of the night. After she initially rejects the student's advances, he accuses her of being racist after asking her why she didn't like black dick. He then berates her. Okay, this is just like, it's like little RSD fucking idiots, okay, that, that it, like when they get blown out for, for calling girl a bitch or a whore doing the, the retard hand of God, they call the, the girl a bitch or a cunt, okay, and then they get fucking punched. Uh, let's see. As these organizations started to research on this report, they found out that Summer's webpage and social media were also plagued with plenty of racist and misogynist content, labeling Colombian women as submissive and sweet who will fuck with passion. Moreover, he promotes his academy as a, a way to have more choice and who you sleep with and date and get a high quality girlfriend and multiple fuck buddies. Part of the webpage was taken down on July 30th. <laughs> the part, and they show the screenshot. In Colombia, they fuck with passion. When you go into doggy style in the US and Canada, you go to the ass. In Colombia, the ass comes to you. Two of the five girls have been with so far are complete nymphomaniacs. If I described in detail the stuff we did, you guys would probably tell me to seek help. I just kicked out a girl after four hours of debauchery. You can check out some of it on Austin Summers Instagram. The way they text is cute too. I feel like I would rather talk or text to a Colombian than fuck an American girl. They send heart emojis when texting, blah, blah, blah. Okay, the Austin Summers Medellin Immersion Program opens up the debate about tourism in Medellin and the problem of sexual exploitation of women and girls in the city. The values that he teaches and propagate reinforce and echo a view that a relevant part of the world holds about women that live in Medellin. According to a spokesperson, one of the leading youth feminist organizations in the city, affirming that Colombian Women are submissive and docile indicates they're vulnerable to the sexist and violent techniques that Mr. Summers teaches. These ideas are not only violent by themselves, but also reinforce the stereotype that women are supposed to obey men without objection. Okay, um, let's see. So, so they, put, uh, they put out this saying, attention women. Austin Summers is an American dating coach promoting a course called Medellin Immersion for Men, which he shows women as sexual objects. These are weekly courses divided into theory and practice sessions. They record women without their consent. They are actually expelled by university authorities for sexually harassing their students. He claims his strategies only work if men distract women so they don't think about what they're doing or where they're being taken. He said Colombian women are submissive and it's easier for actual men <laughs> to be actual men around us. Moreover, it's impossible to forget that these ideas are being reproduced in a country with high statistics of femicide and sexual exploitation of women and girls. I don't know what the fuck femicide means. Uh, I guess killing a woman or something. Columbia had 750 femicides and more than 16,000 cases of sexual violence 2017. Um, the latter is a problem heavily influenced by the sexual tourism industry in Medellin, which cannot be separated from the idea that women are sexual objects made for the consumption and satisfaction of male desire. Due to its violent history, Medellin has had big waves of foreign visitors compared to other cities in the region, blah, 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 blah. The reception of visitors will likely change if the paradigm of sexual and drug-related tourism keeps increasing. So you have these fucking retard pick up artist dating coaches, okay, Bradicus, who I respect on some level just for providing a lot of proof of his results. And, you know, even though it took him a, a much more roundabout path to get good at the game, he was, like he said, he did like tens of thousands of approaches with, with tons of failure or whatever, which is strange. But he fucking blew up Mexico City. Okay, and, and fucking had the Mexican authorities after him and all this stuff for posting all these girls. You know, it's, it's just really ridiculous because the whole mainstream media and the whole public at large sees the, the dating and pickup community as just kind of like this like violent, out of control thing. You had that guy in the UK that was filming like public sex acts and went to jail for it. You have, um, you know, Bradicus in Mexico, Austin in Colombia. Fucking Julian in Australia and Europe, <clears throat> RSD getting banned from multiple countries. You know, even RSD Tyler was, was writing in forums, which is now deleted, that he, you know, put it into a stripper that didn't want it or whatever. And, and like it was dry because she really didn't want it, but he fucked her anyways, which is basically like, you know, an account of, you know, possibly alleged raping a girl. Okay, that he's like putting on in a forum. And then you've got mystery and these idiots with peacocking and stuff like that. So they, people see the, the modern dating community as just like a freak show and something that's like totally off the rails and like bordering on criminal behavior, okay? RSD literally used to advocate throwing women's phones aside or disabling her phones. Okay, Real Social Dynamics was actively teaching that, actively pushing that in the forums. Okay, that's a fact. And that's actually illegal to be disabling a girl's phone or hiding her phone or whatever. Okay, and people can get in big trouble for that. So 
you know, I never liked this Austin kid. I think that his general attitude, he just runs around like a little punk, okay? And he looks like he's 19, and he's doing ass clown type shit in Colombia. And so, you know, I was disappointed to see him come on Alex's Playing With Fire podcast. Like I said, I, I really don't like the guy. I was gonna go through Alex's podcast and, and pick out different things, and like people have sent me random shit in Austin, I was gonna include all that. But I don't really give too much of a shit about this guy. And I think that suffices to, to show that this kid's a fucking ass clown. But I might make a more full length roast on Austin at some point, okay? If you found this helpful, please subscribe below, press the notification bell, like, comment, and share. And if you wanna get very, very good at the game, please jump on a free 30 minute call with me, link in the description. I'll show you how I can get you very good very fast. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you on the next video. Take care. Some do it for the income, but we do it for the outcome. Some of us are active, while others just let their mouth run. No doubt, son, this is not just about fun. We will not be outdone by these cowards who shout scum.